So I'm going to show something to the audience that uh, that may be a little embarrassing to you. I don't think it will be, but because uh, I think it's adorable. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the most interesting tidbits about one of our favorite up-and-coming actors, Timothy Chalamet. Here, let's go. What about the flat tire? Number 10, his first pet. Is Timothy Chalamet a dog or cat person? Well, turns out he's more of a turtle person. And like nobody's ever asked you about this or, or talked to you about this. No, no, not weird enough to ask you. Sometimes you know. pretend to be on Wendy Williams, but that's it. Why, why are you writing all this down? In an interview with W Magazine in early 2018, Chalamet talked a lot about his upbringing and high school years, including revealing the name of his first pet, who was still his pet at the time. He was, and we hope still is, the proud owner of a turtle named Ertl. Not the most original name, but we'll allow it. We need a last name. Wait, what's our last name? I don't, I've never thought about that, actually. I don't know. Do we not have last names? When you think about it, it actually makes a ton of sense that Chalamet's first pet would be something so small. When you're growing up in Hell's Kitchen in NYC, you probably don't have a lot of room for a larger animal. The city was my playground, and the subway was my babysitter. Number nine, he dated Madonna's daughter. How long did you two date? Next question, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Manhattan's Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School is one of the most prolific performing art schools in the country. Most of you probably already knew that Chalamet attended the school, alongside Ansel Elgort, no less. But you might not know another one of the school's famous alumni, or her connection with Chalamet. You were dating Lola Chacon, daughter <laughs> of. Madonna's daughter, Lourdes Leon, spends some time at LaGuardia and says that Timothy Chalamet was her first boyfriend. The pair actually began dating around 2013 when they were in high school. Even post-breakup, Leon says that she has nothing but respect for the actor. Did Lola saw call me by your name? She hasn't seen it yet, but she, uh, she's excited too. She teases me about it. Number eight, he was in a Woody Allen movie. When, when that film comes out, if it comes out, <laughs> That's gonna, it's gonna be really important to talk about. If you're a Timothy Chalamet fan, there's a good chance you've seen most of his movies. But while you can watch this one now, for a while it was difficult to see. It's not always a comfortable trip. <laughs> Tell me about it. In 2018, Chalamet completed work on a movie called A Rainy Day in New York from director Woody Allen. The end of the film corresponded with the hashtag MeToo movement, during which Dylan Farrell, the adopted daughter of Allen, accused the director, again, of sexually abusing her when she was younger. Because of the allegations, the movie's release was delayed. For his part, Chalamet, along with many of his co-stars, donated their salaries to Rain and other organizations. He said, I want to be worthy of standing shoulder to shoulder with the brave artists who are fighting for all people to be treated with the respect and dignity they deserve. Number seven, he's the first male British Vogue cover star. You all represent the zeitgeist, a moment in history, a moment in time. At a young age, Timothy Chalamet quickly became one of the most celebrated actors of his generation. But he's been making history in the fashion world as well. I've always loved the idea that you know, you can appropriately express yourself through clothes. In 2022, Chalamet became the first male solo cover star of British Vogue. In the editor's letter for the October edition of the magazine, Edward Enningful wrote that he previously hedged on having a solo male cover star. Vogue should celebrate women first, he wrote, and he didn't want to force the moment. Citing Chalamet's talent and modern masculinity, he said that the actor felt like the perfect person to make magazine history. Who is it who sort of represents now, who is sort of loved by people of all ages, or somebody who was so first and great at the idea of imagery and translating characters. Number six, Bagel Boy. Bagels are about 95% of this diet right here. They keep me alive. We knew he was a good actor, but who knew he was generous too? The King is probably one of the lesser known Timothy Chalamet movies, but there was one pretty big bright spot, the premiere. An event is pivotal as this one should be amply equipped to penetrate the fog of time elapsed. No. On the night of the first screening of the Netflix film, Chalamet turned up with a slew of delicious bagels to hand out to the huge crowd of fans who showed up to support him. Hey, some of them might have been standing there waiting all day. Supporting the people who support you will never be a bad idea. What matters is that you know in your hearts that today you are that kingdom united. You are England. Each and every one of you, England is you! Number five, he learned how to drive on Beautiful Boy. Nick! 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 One of the first times we saw Timothy Chalamet was in Interstellar. 
In that film, he has to drive a pickup truck through a field. At the time, however, Chalamet did not have his license and didn't really know how to drive a car. You can thank Matthew McConaughey for helping him through it. Oh! You told me to keep driving. Well, I guess that answers the only if I ask you to drive off a cliff scenario. Chalamet wouldn't learn to drive until years later on the set of 2018's Beautiful Boy. That's a little bit later than most, seeing as he was in his early 20s. But his role in the movie required some driving scenes that made the learning curve necessary. Weird that driving through a cornfield didn't, but to each their own. One day at a time, man. Congratulations, welcome to the real world. Oh, I don't want to live in the real world. Number 4. His Penchant for The Office We all have our favorite sitcoms, but we would be willing to bet that The Office sits at the top of a lot of your lists. Would I rather be feared or loved? Um, easy, both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. If that's the case, count yourself in the same group as Timothy Chalamet. As a kid, he watched the beloved mockumentary on Netflix and developed an obsession. Such an obsession, in fact, that he was a bit nervous about working with his beautiful boy co-stars. Did he know that you were a huge fan? Because I know you were a fan of The Office. No, he didn't. I'm like, I like 80% of my time with people that I've looked up to, I'm just like trying not to reveal it, like right now. Steve Carell and Amy Ryan, who played Michael Scott and Michael's love interest Holly on the show respectively, both starred alongside Chalamet. Apparently, he was incredibly nervous about meeting the duo. Actually. I went back after we shot this movie to see, like, is this going to be weird to watch now? And I was like, those are my parents! <laughs> like, yes! <laughs> so... Oh, my God. How adorable. Number three, his appearance in Law & Order. That's my first acting job ever. And, like, Law & Order is like the mothership. Timothy Chalamet made his film debut in 2014 with three titles, Men, Women & Children, Worst Friends, and Interstellar. But he actually appeared on our screens a little bit earlier than that. What are you doing here? It's joy to see you too. Shoes off if you go in the kitchen. In 2009, a very young Chalamet got his screen acting start on an episode of Law & Order. In season 19, Chalamet had a small guest role on an episode called Pledge. He played the part of a young boy who was murdered alongside his housekeeper. He's not in much of the episode, but he does have a few lines. Maybe avoid this one, though, if you don't do well with graphic subject matter. Could you please not tell mom and dad about us playing Xbox? Sorry, love. I can't keep secrets from the boss. Number two, he didn't have to audition for Wonka. What are you doing? I'm making chocolate, of course. How do you like it? Dark, white, nutty, absolutely insane. Timothy Chalamet is getting to the point in his career where he may no longer have to audition for certain roles. But when it comes to singing and dancing, we'd think the filmmakers would want to make sure they were getting the right man for the job. For the film Wonka, however, director Paul King has said that Chalamet was his only choice. Huh. Huh? Huh. He didn't have Chalamet audition and didn't even really need to do much to check that he could sing and dance. With that said, the actor's old high school musical videos are all over the internet. We certainly hope that King saw some of the videos of Chalamet rapping, and that's what got him the role. One in a zillion, in a million. Yeah. 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 Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Columbia Dropout. He gave it the old college try, but no dice. Natural depravity, <laughs> I suppose. Natural indolence, you mean? I'll only plague him if I go, so I might as well stay and plague you a little longer. Dual citizenship. You're looking at a proud American and French citizen. Why you like that? Why you like that? Tranquil. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. He was a basketball mascot. I'm not bringing home prizes. He might be playing pickup games with the likes of Adam Sandler now, but Timothy Chalamet wasn't always picked first in gym class. In middle school, Chalamet tried out but didn't make the cut for the school basketball team. The result? He ended up being the mascot instead. Throw a thing on me and uh, I could physicalize it to a, good, to a good degree. While he admitted, as most costume wearers do, that it was very hot inside the suit, Chalamet also said in an interview with W Magazine that he'd be willing to give it another try if acting doesn't work out. For his sake, we hope it does. I'll call 
you know, the Knicks or something. Although the Knicks don't have a mascot, so. If we missed any of your favorite lesser known Lil Timmy Tim facts, comment them down below. I don't know, I usually don't talk about this stuff, but that was a Sorry. good night. That was a good okay. night. No, 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 I'm happy. No, it was to. a great night. It I'm was happy to hear because we were, we were, that's like there's an actual story there. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.